Welcome aboard, it's Captain G. Eggman and I are playing HBG's America. I will be the Axis, Germany and Japan, and Eggman will be the Allies, US and Canada, in a post-Axis victory in Europe and Asia. We're playing with General Hand Grenade, General Hand Grenade's uh, self-made turn summary sheets, and we're using the alternate rules in the Strategic Markers expansion set with factories, air bases, research tiles, uh, U, I'm sorry, V2 rocket sites for the Germans, and um, atomic bombs for the Americans. So we'll recap at the end of round one. Next up, Axis attack. For Eggman, Captain G, over and out. Welcome back, it's Captain G. So at the end of round one, the Axis have started off with six cities that the Allies had left undefended so they could concentrate their defenses around their nuclear facilities. That strategy is working out for them in that they've already achieved one of the three technologies. They rolled a one on the one up in the Pacific Northwest. Um, so they, they roll a one or a two in Los Alamos or Oak Ridge. They'll be able to start dropping nukes on the Axis. But the Axis did capture six cities. So we're gonna roll now for initiative for round two. We're gonna add six to the Axis roll and then it'll be up against the allied roll. So the axis roll is a, what is that, six? Yeah, it's running at 12, but actually it doesn't matter. Three. So the axis retains initiative for turn two, and we'll go back to give you, we'll come back to give you a recap at the end of turn two. This is Eggman and Captain G, over and out. Welcome back. It's the end of turn two. Uh, the Axis continue their push through Canada and along the East Coast, but the U.S. has struck back, placing massive reinforcements and ambushing uh, this Japanese force coming around here to secure this facility. And up in the Pacific Northwest, it's still a stalemate. So the U.S. has 30 victory points, and the Axis have now captured eight victory cities. So they have four more. So this turn for the initiative, the Axis add two, because that's how many they captured that turn, to their die roll. So nine to five. So turn three, Axis initiative again. Give you an update at the end of turn three. Welcome back. It is Eggman and Captain G with the end of turn three in America. So the Axis strategy this turn was to put pressure on as many cities as possible. So rather than blitz right up to Winnipeg, they put themselves in a position to hit multiple air bases and cities. Uh, the Japanese enveloped, moved multiple forces to put pressure as many different cities and uh, important areas as possible so the Allies would have to spread out their defenses. They did try to attack New Orleans and failed. Uh, the Allies held on with one defender. On the Allied turn, uh, they placed their 30 infantry, I think it was, um, spread them all out and then did counter strikes, crushing the Axis Mississippi force and beating the uh, Japanese that were putting pressure on these zones in the Rockies. Also, the U.S. rolled for their second of three technologies, so there's only one left. And since the Axis captured no cities, it's an even tech roll. So the Axis and the Allies rolling for initiative. Uh, the Allies will roll first. Eight. Eight, uh-oh, not good. One. Oh, that, that's not the 12? Nope, that's the one. So I think the tide is turning. 
it is the Allied Initiative on turn four. We'll give you an update after that one. Victory point wise, um, just to, so where we are, the Allies only have 40 and the Axis have eight victory cities. Welcome aboard, Captain G and Eggman. Turn four recap for America. So the U.S. had the initiative. They immediately countered and crushed the rest of the Mississippi Delta German Expeditionary Force. And they also crushed the Japanese force in the mountains, uh, securing their city territories. I think it was up here outside of Salt Lake. On the Axis counterattack, the Japanese finally captured a U.S. nuclear facility, but sadly, they found that the Americans, on their turn, because they had the initiative, had rolled for the third technology, and now the U.S. gets to use nukes. And having played Global War 2025 with Eggman, I know he loves nukes. The Germans attacked in Winnipeg, but Canada stood. The final Canadian free city push back the attacking Germans. We now roll for the initiative. The Axis captured no more cities. So it's even up. Is that a 12? Yep. Oh, 12. The Axis has recaptured the initiative. So an opportunity to build on our uh, lack of success last time. The Allies have 60, six, zero, 60 victory points. The Axis have eight cities so we need four more cities before they get 40 more points as always with this game it's a race to the finish next up turn five over and out welcome back it's captain g and eggman with the turn five recap so the axis did a coordinated strike and recaptured um, all three of the nuclear facilities. They already had the Washington one. And then that allowed them to steal the nuke technology from the US. The US counter strike in the Rocky Mountains recaptured Los Alamos, Los Alamos. They also recaptured Denver, the only city the Axis was able to take this turn. Um, so that did two things. One, this factory is now cannot trace a supply back to an access controlled city since they lost Denver. So we're, we're treating this factory as out of supply. And the um, German attack, second attack on Canada failed as well. So um, while the rules are somewhat vague, the way we're gonna play it is now Germany and the US both have nuclear technology but they must control at least one of the three facilities to be able to use the nukes. Not sure if that's exactly right, but that's the way we're gonna play it and see how it goes. So, um, because Denver was the only city that changed hands, the Axis and the Allies are both even up on the victory tracker. So we're rolling for initiative on turn six. And we <laughs> have ones. two ones. Are we so, uh, on a tie, the oh, had it initiative stays with who had it last time. So the Axis yeah. initiative, as we go into turn six, that means the Axis gets to nuke first. We'll be back after the next turn. Welcome back. The end of round five. The Axis tried to take Nashville and were pushed back. The German... Attack in Canada, that force, what was left of it, blitzed through Minnesota to Wisconsin and then was wiped out by the U.S. And in the Pacific, the Japanese swarmed in with seemingly overwhelming numbers to Salt Lake City, were still pushed back. They relieved the pressure on this factory to put it back in supply, but the Americans not only took it, but took the surrounding mountain territories. And then based on the way we're playing the rules, uh, each side controls at least one of the nuclear facilities. And as long as you have at least one, since both of us had at one point in time controlled all three to gain the technology, you get to use it. So the Japanese 
nuked the American force here. The Americans nuked the Japanese force there. So the only thing left to do is roll for initiative in the next round. 12 to 6. So the Axis will have the initiative. The Allies gained no victory points on a bad roll. So turn 6. Axis up. Going first. Out for now. Welcome back. It's the end of turn 7. We did uh, two turn 5 updates because I forgot to update the tracker last time. So this turn, the Axis... Uh, the Germans reinforced the Oak Ridge nuclear facility with 10 units and then pushed into Ohio, Pennsylvania to threaten both Chicago and Detroit. You can see the U.S. counterattacked, nuked Oak Ridge. Only three out of 10 units survived the nuclear strike. And then the East Coast allies were very successful in pushing the Axis back. On the West Coast, the Japanese... We're trying to encircle Salt Lake City. And then they nuked Los Alamos. The U.S. counterattacked all along the mountain range with mixed results. They only took one of the three territories. Their air force was terrible. I think out of all of those fighters, they hit one, mm -hmm. one hit. And since none of those were cities, they all had two rounds of combat. So it wasn't very good at all. They did try to move into this territory that uh, had the still the nuclear afterglow to try to capture it when the effects wore off, but uh, they were not successful. They were killed by the radiation. So now, as we head into turn eight, we're going to roll for initiative. No new cities were captured, so it's even up. Eight, one. So the Axis has the initiative. Um, the Gulf has opened up, so Germany will be able to attack from here. We'll see what happens on turn eight. All right, so the end of turn eight saw the Germans land a large Gulf force here to threaten this facility. But the Japanese force took it, and the Americans recaptured it. And then the U.S. counterattacked and pretty much neutered that southern German force. But for a brief moment, the Axis had all three nuclear facilities again, but as you can see, the U.S. also counterattacked here and are on their way to retaking uh, the Bedford, Washington territory. The Japanese did push again into Salt Lake City and came up a couple units short. Can you stop me from nuking? But because they lost all three, the U.S. did not get to nuke. It was just the Axis, which is why there's only one nuke on the board. But at this point, with two of the three facilities back, the Allies earned 10 victory points. And then if they had rolled a 10 or 12, 10, 11, 12, they would have won the game. Eggman rolled a three. So we have one more turn that we are going to do. Maybe... The Axis can retake the facilities and prevent the U.S. from getting victory points. Maybe not. Initiative will tell. And that is a 12 and a 3. three. So the Axis retain the initiative. And they have one desperate attempt to secure America. Well, that's it. Turn 9 represented the end of the game. The Axis, as they always do, develop these great plans to win. The Japanese, or actually the Germans coming through here with bomber supports, captured this, sent what they thought was overwhelming force into this one. If they'd captured both, not only would they have prevented an Allied nuclear strike this turn, but zeroed out their opportunities for victory points. But the Axis rolled poorly and failed to take the weakly defended Oak Ridge Center, had to retreat. That gave the Allies nukes just by having one. They nuked the incoming Japanese reinforcements and they retook this facility. The Japanese had tried to encircle Salt Lake City, which is 
really the Stalingrad of this game for the Japanese. Failed to take it, lost bombers uh, to AA again. They tried to encircle the city. This had been nuked last turn, but they still sent two units in for the after effect. And when we rolled for those, both of them were lost. If one of them had survived, that would have encircled the city and would have prevented Allied reinforcements. But it didn't happen. And Eggman and the Allies achieved all 100 victory points and came out on top of this game. Um, we enjoyed the airbase factory rules, like the nuke rules, at least how we played it and interpreted it. We had a lot of fun. So thanks for watching Eggman and Captain G. Over and out.